welcome to this Real to Real. We're continuing our escapade into the Tenth Kingdom. The Tenth Kingdom, the third episode. Yes, and we have two more after this. Yes. And to catch everybody up and Bradshaw. Especially me. I, I, play the, I play the role of the, the viewer. <laughs> you're, there, you're their surrogate. Yeah. So what happened is we met up with some gypsies. Oh, gypsy. So, yep. uh, 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 Anthony, the dad. Yes. Antonio. And s- escaped from the prison with the help of Acorn the Dwarf and Blabberwort or whatever the hell the goblin's name is. Yep. Patch Face the Goblin. And they got out and Virginia and the wolf left the troll kingdom to go find Anthony in the prison. They Good. found him. They went through his little hidey hole of escapism. They all ended up on a boat together. Anthony got a gold magic finger. He's like, I can turn anything into gold. Got the Midas touch. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> and they were sailing away with the dog, trying to go find Acorn, who who uh, was driving this junk boat that had that magic mirror on it. Right. And uh, a mirror. The a mirror, but it doesn't look like a mirror from this side. Yeah. Um, they uh, followed Acorn to this little like fishing village and found out that he had traded everything on the boat for a cart and he was taking the cart down to like this other town so they were going to follow him uh, Anthony ends up accidentally using his gold finger for using it against the trolls to keep them away from the dog Yeah. but the dog got turned to gold too so now the dog's on wheels getting pulled behind him on a little piece of wood Okay, so like the dog dog or or prince dog? The dog dog. There's only one dog. The dog. The canine. The four-legged creature. That's the prince. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he's yes. a dog, but he's like being toted around on okay. the little skate. The dog okay, is yeah, a prince. Yeah, I think I remember and the, that. And the prince yeah. is a dog. Yes, that's yes. why I was clarifying. I, I, oh, I know. That's what and I was then, clarifying. Uh, <laughs> Virginia met some gypsies with Tony. Yep. After the, they were trying to follow Acorn, they were in the forest. Yep. Met some gypsies. And they fed them, and then, for some weird reason, the gypsy was like, hey, I'm going to put a curse on this bitch. So she, like, makes her hair really long. So now, Virginia's hair, she woke up the next so like day. like a Rapunzel shit? Just, they, they left the gypsy camp because they were... Oh, so here's here's why she cursed her. Okay? Um, in the camp, they have these cages with little magical birds in them. Yeah. And Virginia was like, oh, I feel bad for these little things. So we should set them free. So she set them free and caught the ire of the gypsies. Oh, so yeah, yeah, I that, remember this part. That's why she cursed part. her, and then she had the Rapunzel hair, and they found, uh, they left the camp in a hurry and were being chased, and then it started raining, and they found refuge in the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Cottage. It's not a memorial prison. It's not a correctional institution. It's right. just a cottage. A really beaten up, run down vacant there are seven mugs there are seven beds there are seven cobwebs in this derelict old place derelict my balls and then the very end was yep the The huntsman huntsman. got put on their trail Mm -hmm. kill he killed all the gypsies because he was looking for virginia and company and ended up busting into the cottage and grabbed virginia by the hair and was Taking her away, and the men were hot on her gotcha. tail. Yeah. He said, I got you, Virginia. And we're going to jump right back into it, and we'll be right back after this one. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Ugly. And now, our feature presentation. All right, that was episode three. Four, four. Three. Three. Episode three. Trace. Jinkus. Jinkus, dude. <laughs> Jinkus. Um, that, that was, I mean, like you pointed out, it's probably because it's better as one whole thing, but that was a really oddly paced episode. There was a lot going on. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, they, we, we got to the point where they met up with Virginia and mm-hmm. the guys... I call it the guy group. Yeah, mm-hmm. they got totally uh, fair. They got a hand on the axe that can cut anything. So from yep. Juliet, from yeah, Juliet the Juliet. woodsman, Juliet 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 Juliet
Yeah, early Gior, before the Night's Watch took him in, yep. and before he cured his blindness. Yeah, interesting, like you said, like the pacing of yeah. this. Uh, this episode specifically had three distinct story arcs. Yeah. And the and it was more of... Like, but they had, a through, the f- they had a through plot that connected them with yeah, the mirror. Yeah, because the first third was follow up from last episode yeah middle one was just its own thing and then the last one here is gonna set be up for the next set up for the next one and it will continue in yeah. that way until like the last episode where it, you know, but we had yeah. spatterings of side plots with the trolls overthrowing yeah. the kingdom and then the troll king basically just telling the the bitchy queen or whatever yeah. saying like i'm coming for you he did the the classic yeah. like WWE like yeah. I'm coming well, first for he's you, like queen. first he's like I've already taken my land and then she's like oh yeah and then fucks it up and he's like well it's on now I'll see you on Sunday yeah fight night oh he yeah the bean stuck, queen nice cause there ain't no coffee. bean town anymore <laughs> yeah uh, but yeah so we had we that's had like the greater plot going on is like helping tell you what's going on in like, yeah. the entire magical world yeah we here, had the, we had the troll Virginia stuff and, and then we had family. like the the guys we had like the guys the, the council guys talking about yeah the, yep. the prince yep mm-hmm. and starting then, a war yeah so and then the main part of the story was wolf and larikette getting axe from the woodsman dude mm-hmm. yes saving virginia, the Bra- virginia from from rut bop the from ruddy Huntsman. ruddy h yeah knock him out um and then it went into going to the the town where the peeps are from, like Little Bo Peep. Little Lamb Village. Little Lamb They're Village. And their Little Lamb annual, like... Shepherdess contest. Fair. Just like a general... And there's just this whole, like, ooh, there's skullduggery afoot because there was this magic well, wishing well. It's not there anymore. And the peeps hoard it for themselves so they can win this contest yeah, every year. Yeah, they just win, like, all this stuff. And, and the whole twist on it. It's like taking these concepts of right. these old fairy tales or folk tales or just nursery rhymes. Right. Putting a little twist on them, making them really dark and sinister. Right. Because you're like, oh, little Bo Peep lost her sheep. She yeah. doesn't know where to find them. Mm. And it, like, makes the Peep family, like, really dark and twisted. Yeah. There's not too many, besides, like, the... I guess there's a few more dropped in this one, but there's, like, not a whole lot of things that get to have that opportunity to get explored in that way. Yeah. Like not too many different uh, stories. Like, there was the Little Bo Peep one. Um, I guess the Huntsman kind of aspect of Snow White, but the greater part of everything is more, like, just name-dropping of the House of White. So yeah. Cinderella's time, and he said, like, I think it might be a late naked emperor. Yeah. Like, <laughs> a um, very early Cinderella. Um, and then, yeah, then, like, how we find that out is um, Lair Cat hones in on this meeting led by fucking Eamon, Meister Eamon from uh, his, his, Game of Thrones. His hay throne. His grandpa. On his, yeah, on his throne of hay. Um, and you find out about that well situation and how they're stacking it so Sally Peep can win. Do we do we know why they want to win? Yeah, like why no. they just like winning. Yeah, like that's their motivation. They and don't the man, have like any other ulterior motive. They're no, just like, we uh, like to win. It was yeah. basically just like they can. So they want to be the top. He had a line about like he and his brother way back in the day uh, dug a tunnel to where the magic wishing well was and made it feed to their property. So then they got control of all the magic water. Yeah. And then they just had the opportunity. They just could win, so they just did. Yeah. They just wanted to. And the prize, the prize is the mirror. For the sheep and For the shepherdess. shepherdess. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, in boy, the we competition. Should, we, should, we should get into that competition, all the different. Uh, all the different two things they do. And then the third thing at the end, right? Uh, oh, that's, that's no, two. there's really only two. Well, there's like, only, there's only two. No, no. They, at the end, there's three because there's a tie. After the one competition. So they did the singing, they did the dog one, and then they have no. to do... The dog one was the tiebreaker. Okay. Yep, he's right. They do the singing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So and then... And then it, it's, the it's competition... Over that. Competition was between Sally Peep, 
Um, Mary Ramley, assumedly, assumedly Mary had a little lamb. Yeah. Right. And her last name's Ram. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, and then, um, Virginia enters in so they can win the mirror. Mm-hmm. And Larroquette does some skullduggery and puts their sheep in the well, too. Um, and then she comes out, Mary sings her song, um, and then... It's a great song. Yep. Baba Black, Baba Black Sheep. And then, um, Sally comes up and stereotypically sings the little, little, little Bo Peep. But she does it in a sexy way. Yeah, in a sexually because, suggestive way. Because this young lady is never, like, specifically... Oh, she said it's, it's like, my 18th It's birthday, her 18th it's birthday. Still, it's so weird. It's yeah, it's just, and you know what that you know stage, the, like you know what I do to I'm gonna do tonight or whatever, and the wolf's like, oh shit, no. yeah. um, <laughs> and then like the yeah, and this whole time yeah, they're kind of the wolf is freaking the fuck out because the, the the moon. Yeah, he's it's, it's his, it's his time, it's his of, time of the month. It's, 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 it's essentially his wolf time of the it's, month. It's a joke on menstruation, but yeah. they also make him. Get like so, really aggro. So he's a dog right? and he yeah, gets real aggro. Yeah, his wolf side starts coming out. It's like yeah. a werewolf type situation yeah. kind of thing where it's just like he doesn't fully turn into a wolf. But... No, but he they have weird effects that happen on his face. Like yeah. his, his eyebrows twitch and his mouth kind of <laughs> his cheekbones, yeah. his like, cheekbones like twit like turn like twitch. Yeah. 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 His yeah. eyes like, turn yellow and his teeth grow. His face and neck. That was weird. Yeah. And then Vampire goes on a little rampage and just messes up a chicken coop. But yep. then everybody thinks that he killed Little Bo Peep. Oh, but it... we're skipping ahead. Hmm. We had the competition. Yeah. And then it ends that when uh, What's Her Fuck gets an 8 out of a 10. Mary does. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then Sally, Sally and Virginia tie with they a 10 out of 10. 10. 10. And they're like, oh no. And he's like, dude, this is a shepherdess contest. We're going to actually have you like herd some sheep so they like you need your dog and the sheep through an obstacle course and so sally gets dizzy. sally's like all right yeah and the fucking virginia's like i don't got a fucking dog and their cat's like <laughs> i thought i heard you say i don't want a fucking dog yeah their cat's like well shit i got this i got this gold dog nobody's asking you to virginia yeah i don't want a fucking I don't want dog, dog. <laughs> uh apropos of nothing to like the yeah. judge the yeah. main judge i don't want a fucking He's dog like, well, have you sheep with your dog and your sheep moving through the town i don't, I don't want, want a fucking dog, dog. <laughs> uh, their cat what is this woman doing here their cat drops the gold boy down there yep. pulls him back up and he turns the golden golden retriever the, yep the golden golden retriever and then bada bing bada boom Gold boy is back to good boy. He has to shake first. Yep. Yep. He shakes Hello. up the residual magic. Yep. It's a really great... So then, make a good gif. So yeah. then good boy... It's like, beautiful. Good boy comes back, helps Virginia, and they win. Peep's going crazy. Oh, she goes nuts. Yep. She goes She, she goes is. more aggro than the wolf. She yep. wrecks the barn with the wish, with like the magic yep. water in it so that they can't really like use it anymore. Yep. yep. And then and she gets killed and yeah. they think it's the wolf cuz they hear her saying wolf wolf wolf. And you come to find out, nope, it's her grandpappy Meister Eamon. Wilfred. Wilfred. She was screaming his She's name. Screaming, wolf. Wolf. So wolf. That, there's an entire So know, it's a whole law and order like uh, Court courtroom drama, drama. Yeah. yeah. It was a big farce. Yeah, it's, it, it is just a farce. It's like not that serious. The jury was the sheep. Yeah, and then they're like, when they voted guilty or not guilty, they put a bunch of food in front of the guilty one so the sheep would go to the guilty. Yeah, they just, just like, so they could burn him at the stake. But then yeah. at the very end, That's when John Larroquette Larrique- does out. his investigation yep. of the situation. Aha! Because he's he was with the dog the entire time, like sniffing down clues and helping reluctantly kind of like virginia get out of this mess and yep right figuring was, all this shit was, out he was mainly focused on just getting into the mirror just get the fuck home he had dude. the opportunity at one point yeah was like i can't wait we're gonna go and then and then wolfie got in trouble and yep. she was just like well we you know. he was like fuck yeah we got virginia it. why he's got some he's got some tasty reaction shots this uh episode yeah, there's, there's holy fuck larrikett that he has throughout this entire show where he's yeah. just like dead face reacting to something sarcastically or giving a look of like almost disgust or and it's, like utter confusion where he's just like and they emphasize it narrows his eyes and just like what they what emphasize it by it never being in a shot like with multiple people no, it's, it's always, always a single shot on him 
Because he just like looks off screen. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Just, and he like shakes his head looking at He's just tail. like, he's, it's really his real reactions of just like, what is the shit that I'm in right now? Yeah, what is he's this? Like, Why did I take he's this just job? at that moment realizing like what this script all is and like, yeah. where he is in this relation is, to the story. He's just like, Wait, this, the this thing's, this thing's how long? What? <laughs> so, what am I supposed to do here? So n- now that we're like over halfway through yeah. the story, what do you guys think so far of like, overall how everything like has been more technically like i like this episode more than any of the previous episodes yeah and why is that i think well i like the i like yeah eric you go i like um i like this one for just like the amount of shit happen happening and the how whimsical it is There's so much whimsy going on and then just and just like the random like shots they shoot like I don't mean like like camera shots. I just mean like they t- they took some shots with it. Like oh, just yeah. fucking yeah, they went all out. For yeah, some of the stuff. They're just like well, fucking shoot your shot, and it's there's, like all right. There's people. But I like the like... first one a lot a lot too, just because I liked the just the initial like real world stuff mm-hmm. initially, but overall probably this one. This one for me, it just seemed that. We knew the characters' motivations. We knew that they're... Yeah, their we're main fucking objective. in it now. Yeah, their main objective is to get back home. They're trying to find this mirror, which is going to keep getting tossed. Yeah, because, like, hands. you find out... I mean, like, like the goal was find the mirror, go home. And, like, and... So the whole goal of the episode was get the mirror. Mm-hmm. End of the episode, don't got the mirror. Nope. <laughs> it's just like, oh, yeah, we got it. The one constant Where to was go. the mirror throughout yeah. the whole episode, but like all this stuff interfered with them getting the mirror. But so yeah, because we forgot that part. Then after they, after everything's done and won, the the mirror's in a carriage thingy. They hide it. Under yeah. Some hay in a cart in a barn that they're like, all right, we'll just come back to this in a couple hours and then we'll get out of here. And a dude has fucked off with his pigs in the cart with that in it as well. He's gone to market with his pigs. And so John, they're like, pig, where the son, fuck? My son John. These pigs went to market. Yeah. Do, you, yeah. do you think that's? A... Well, I know Probably. my son John. I know that's a, a nursery rhyme or something. Like that. Okay. Okay. And, and then they go to. Has anything to do with pigs? They go to Kissing Town or whatever, which is apparently where. Um, cars are existing yeah where the prince the prince goes and wakes up snow white with the kiss so then we yeah, have like back in the day that's yeah. historically like where it happens so we have we have this this it's like basis the, for this world kind yeah of. then it's like like the fantasy world version of hey let's get dressed up in cowboy costumes and take a picture in a fake Fedora. saloon yeah it's <laughs> yeah it's, but it's painting so they're like painting wolf in fucking virginia and in the background is wilson so so eagle-eyed well okay so i've total seen the 10th kingdom probably close to 20 times in my life jesus and yeah right and having seen that scene so many times before i was like all right let's just dig into something that i haven't really paid attention yeah you don't to, need to pay I'm attention to the main part their performance mm-hmm. and then i was just like you know what? Those back, those uh, buildings in the background there—they look pretty modern. Let's see if I can spot anything that is like, you know, giving away anything untoward. And I was like, oh, oh, because I saw movement in the frame, <laughs> and then I pointed it out to these guys. There's like four or five separate times that you can see cars moving in the background. Like this is supposed <laughs> yeah. to be a medieval type fantasy fantasy setting where there are no drawn carriages there are no cars and ever. and tyler pointed out that okay. they probably there's this whole the whole time i don't remember why it's happening it's a slow zoom in but there's this there's the why. there's a special effect of these hearts floating all around and tyler was just like well maybe they put those in to cover that shit up and i was just they're like, trying to distract you yeah out. exactly yeah. i'm gonna say no because that is like for all of Kissing, Kissing Town is going to be fun because it's a lot more colorful and it's a lot more like visually festive. They just go, it's, everything is really, really detailed and over everything the Everything is rose-tinted glasses. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. Like everything is gilded and like, so we're going to see a lot more stuff with that. And that butterfly in the hearts thing is like a motif that keeps coming back. Okay. Like a, it, they know like of the world or that. Town every time cars could, love. every time cars can potentially be seen. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, it's well. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm it, just it happens like you know. There's like an effect of the town that if you're there and you're two people of the opposite sex, you and and there's there's any amount of attraction yeah. at all. They, this town will bring you two together romantically. Mm-hmm. Um. With all the so cream. then, like they they <laughs> the creamy they found they found the um, the pigman. Mm-hmm. The guy with the pigs, and he was just like, "Well, shoot, you should have been here earlier." Got to, I'm just putting on a <laughs> southern accent instead of a British one. It's a British southern. Yeah, accent. yeah. It's the common. But he's he sold it to some dude for five coppers. Yeah, and he was just like, "He's got a bunch of old shit. You might want to check out the like, antiques. like antique place." Yeah. And that idiot could have been rich. So rich. Belief. After they uppriced that, yeah. he just sold it off to the first person who wanted it. He didn't even know what it was. Know, he didn't but care think what of that was. guy. He'd be like, yeah. all right, so you give me four it. And four like, copper. Oh, four copper. All right. Anybody cool. in their right mind would have been like, I'm going to take this to a shop and I'm going to get it appraised first. And he just wanted gonna... to unload the shit because he didn't yeah, even he know he had wanted, it. He just wanted to get rid of it. And then, so yeah, yeah. so that it's at this. Is, what a pain, uh, though, to take antique so shop. To this, like, go through the, slash, the pain of right. taking it there. It's like antiques shop slash it almost looks like an auction house to a degree. It just it ends up there like yeah. Some I think whoever bought it off the guy either worked for Brought, the yeah because he said he had a bunch of old shit so he probably was a dude yeah, grabbing shit. Yeah, just went around and grabbed stuff and brought it back yeah. to this one place. They were gonna resell it. it yeah. Was priced at five to ten gold coins, I think. Fifteen. Ten, 10 to 15, fifteen, yeah. something like yeah. that. Pretty relatively low. Yeah, yeah. that's cheap. I mean, and we, we can. They yeah, oh, like, sweet! We got it right here. Yeah. They show up and they're like talking and shit, and then he goes back, and then this was oh. during the time that Virginia and the Wolf were doing their. Yeah, they meet yeah. back up with Virginia and the Wolf. They're like, "Oh, we found the mirror. It's in here." Yeah. They literally like leave for some reason because they're like, "Oh, th- I think maybe like Virginia and Wolf had the money or something." I, something. But it, it was like, "Yeah, this is easily attainable. Let's go tell these guys." And then they meet up and they go back to look at the mirror. Surprise, surprise. It's moved and he's like, this one dude's like, it's in Oh, there. the magic mirror. It's in there. It's in It's in, there. It's in there it's with in a very there. fucking there. awesome point. Yeah, he's got a, just just a, a very accent. It thing. almost looks like a like you're doing a... a, a, a sh- yeah, sh- yeah. Shot, like, you're shooting on the, the, the follow the through. Yeah. Um, but with a point. Now the mirror has been like discovered as this magic mirror. Yeah. It's... Priced at like five thousand. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Five thousand. So, and they're like, oh, we don't have that. And the huntsman is back on their trail. Ruddy see, boy. You see him like pick up a book that the wolf discards on their journey to Kissing Town. Yep. And he like picks up the book and is tracking them. And he's standing in the background of the smoking or, like, a pip. Standing in the back of the room when they're like discovering this mirror, and he's just like, oh yeah, so I'm watching you smoking my pipe. And now he's. Kind of, I don't know if he knows a lot about the mirror magic, but he, he's kind of now starting to realize, oh, this is their escape plan, is this yeah. mirror. Well, I don't know if he thinks escape plan, but he knows that there's that's their objective. Right. So he kind of is like, <clears throat> he knows what he needs to do in this town to mm-hmm. get... Ruddy H, don't town. fuck around. And... No, but I, yeah, like next episode is going to be a lot of Kissing Town, pretty much all Kissing Town. From what I, no, 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 no. Never mind. I, forget, I really do forget how much they pack into these episodes. Uh, there is going to be a good amount of Kissing Town. It's going to be fun, and there's going to be some other adventures in there. I'm going to stop saying the name. So stop doing that. <laughs> stop saying what? Yes. So, yes. Yeah. I don't know. There's no, the, There were, like, other people that we kind of picked out. Like, the girl who played Sally Peep was... Also, the actress who played the, like, really Horrible. bad actress in Hot Fuzz who, like, was in Shakespeare and was sleeping with the yep. uh, older guy. Mm-hmm. She's been in a lot of other stuff as a character actor. She was in um, Dinner for Schmucks, I think. Hmm. She was Paul Rudd's ex-girlfriend in oh, that. interesting. And um, she played an American, oh, yeah, I think. Right. Never seen the schmucky no. dudes. That would, be, that would be weird to hear her speaking in an American accent. She does pretty good. And she was in the, the mm-hmm. movie with Topher Grace and Chris Pratt called Take Me Home Tonight. Spider-Man 3. Take Me Home Tonight? About the 80s. Take Me Spider-Man Homecoming Tonight. Yes. Okay. So it all takes place in the 80s when Spider-Man was, you know, 10. 
<laughs> Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. But yeah, she was... She's kind of a quirky, really shrill kind of character. Yeah. The in Sally this, In this, she's just very kind of grating. Yeah. She's While supposed to be freshly to... 18, and she's like, all right. like, I want to get some fucking... Well, she's very just provocative and yeah. like very... She's trying to get a reaction out of people, and she's trying to be, like, salacious in a way. Yep. She had the best, like, reaction to her grandpappy just saying, I'll cut your throat. I'll cut, yeah. your, I'll cut your throat. Cut your throat. Grandchild or no grandchild. And he I'll does. Cut your throat. And he fucking, he fucking delivers, delivers, dude. Yeah. He he said it, and he did it. He was a man of his word. That, that Maester Eamon delivers. Aemon doesn't fuck around. No. Well. Yes. I, I, I You had asked... At the beginning of this episode, if this was like a big, if the Tenth Kingdom was like a big deal when it aired, yeah, I want to find out. I do. I I wish I could just like put my finger in. Well, like dude, people, like people just, waited for like, oh man, I can't wait for the next episode. It's gonna be so great. We'll do some research before next episode. Yeah, I'll research. I'll do some years. research. Yes, you know your avenues. You know your processes. I'm gonna leave you to it. Exactly, like two minutes before we will record. <laughs> Like during your smoke break. Yeah. I'll just be like, ah, got okay. it. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say, uh, I mean, I'm I'm enjoying it now. It didn't put me to sleep like last time. Was, there was no fighting there. Last time wasn't the no, sleepy No, it wasn't. Episode. I was tired. Last time wasn't the sleepy episode. The next... Yeah, it was. Hmm? Yeah, it was. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying in the show. Oh, in the um, show. Yeah. The next episode is the sleepy episode, and you'll see why. Uh... Oh, really? Whiter shade of pale? Yeah. What about it? Just think about that. Oh. Oh, wait. Was that... Just... Just think about that. Okay. That song. The mirror told his tale. It told his tale. As her face at first just ghostly. Turned to whiter. Should I am I'm, I'm intrigued. Pro call harm, dude. I know pro call harm, dude. <laughs> I know pro call harm, dude. Dude, I'm a progman. I know pro call harm. Pro call harm, I think. That was a harm. Yeah. Fourteen Vestal Virgins. Look forward to that. Look forward more. Forward to more of K Town. Look forward to uh, <laughs> K Town. The, sleep, the sleepy up. episode. Yeah, dude. That was I had uh, for context. I had been awake since like five in the morning that day, hey. and uh, I came over here and I was like, "Let's watch some Ten King." <laughs> <laughs> honestly, <laughs> basically how it was. Honestly, editing that episode is going really great. Good. When we when we ask you questions, you're you're jumping in. You're you're on it, like even though you're not like present, you're there. Yep. I'm scared. You're, you're reacting good, to everything. There's a, there's a good dialogue. I'm scared now. Yeah. You shouldn't be scared. Look forward to it. I de- I am tentatively. You get to look back on our conversation and really just pick apart. I didn't have. Well, I find out how I. Well, I find out how I got a pecan in my pocket.